Welcome back. Back with another banger. It's the React Files. Hope you're having a good night. If you haven't already, please take a second just to smash that like, subscribe, ring that notification bell, just to make sure the algorithm knows what's up. So let's get straight to it. A total solar eclipse is going to occur over the United States on April 8th. This photo, you can see the path it's going to take. Now I've gotten messages, comments, and people asking in my live streams about this total eclipse. Because some people are actually freaking out a little bit, wondering if it's a sign of something to come, if something's up. And that's not strange in the least, because there's a history that goes along with solar eclipses. Different cultures all over the world had different ideas of what the solar eclipse meant. But in current time, there's a lot of people like me who have a gut feeling that something is going on in the world. Something's about to happen. And with this eclipse crossing paths with another eclipse that happened seven years ago, seven years, that's key. Some people are wondering if this is part of prophecy. Now I'm the wrong person to ask about anything Bible related. It's really not my area. But I do wonder if this eclipse could connect with what I'm feeling about the change that's coming, the change in our world. And like I said, the fact that this eclipse is going to cross paths where the other one came seven years ago, I can understand people's concern. I'm wondering if anybody else has any feelings or concerns about this eclipse that's about to happen on April 8th. If you can, let me know what those concerns are in my comment section, because I'm curious if it's just me and the handful of people I talk to, or if it's really a lot of us. Okay, shabadu, Bushkis, shabadu. Physically, I don't think anything's gonna happen, you know? That uh, hurt anything or anybody, you know? Maybe, I believe, though, is that there'll be a conscious shift, you know? as more of, you know, the way people think and react. Maybe. Have you heard about loads of schools across America closing down Monday, April the 8th, 2024 because of the solar eclipse? So I know I wasn't gonna post videos about this, but now that they're closing schools, what do you guys think about that? Uh, I heard it was simply because it would be happening during the release of school and they didn't want to be responsible for people looking into this and hurting their eyes something like that maybe maybe something darker let us know in the comments here's a little bit more info so if you're going to school or have kids that are going to school make sure to check to see if school's been canceled in your area and if it has let us know because i'm finding this a lot many states what are you guys thinking so I'm gonna show you where and when it's happening. I'm gonna get a bit closer, so hold on a sec. But first of all, I'm gonna show you where and when on this chart. Feel free to screenshot. And if you're not on there, maybe you're on this one. Screenshot. There you go, another way to look at it. And something else for another video, but X marks the spot from the last one, October, 2023. Let's see. And San Antonio around there, something interesting happens on that day. Who knows? Let's see. And again, a quick close up of where and when. There you go, guys. Stay safe and uh, let me know what you think. No, I didn't know schools were closing. I could see their point trying to protect the kids and all from looking up in the sky. This eclipse coming on April 8th, 2024 is suspicious as shit, and I got several reasons why. Let's get into it. Number one, it's going to pass over the New Madrid fault line. This area is over 125 years due for a massive earthquake. Back in the 1800s, an eclipse passed over this exact same area. A few days later, we had a massive earthquake with several aftershocks. My second reason why I find it suspicious as shit, look at all of the planets that are going to come into conjunction either right before the eclipse or right after the eclipse. It's giving Hercules Titans moment. Look, because not only do we have all of these planets line up in conjunction and we have an eclipse coming, we have the Devil's Comet that's going to be visible during the 2024 eclipse. Now, it's going to be brightest in June of 2024, but it will be visible with the naked eye during the eclipse. All of this put together is suspicious as shit. 
Now, once again, it's giving Hercules when all the planets line up and the Titans come out of the Earth and Hades has to direct them to Mount Olympus. Yeah, that's how I'm feeling lately. Well, since she put it like that, I had no clue about the devil's coming. Anyone else besides me find this a little weird? All of the stuff that they are telling us to do when it comes to this eclipse. What do they know that we don't know? They're telling us to get groceries. They're telling us to stock up on essentials. They're telling us to have cash on hand just in case. So what exactly do they know that we don't know? That first photo that you've seen was a news station in uh, Arkansas. This one that you're seeing on screen is from a place in Ohio. So what exactly do they know is coming? What are they not telling us? This is some strange stuff indeed. You tell me what you think about all of this. They're even saying possible gas shortages. Very strange stuff is happening. Some strange things are definitely ahead. Be ready and be prepared because you never know what's coming next. You guys want to know why these fake clouds exist? To hide this from you guys. Watch this, you guys. Check this out. This is in Miami, Florida. First of all, you see the different colors in the sky? You see how this, like this sorbet orange? Look at that bright sorbet orange and then you see these black clouds as well and then white clouds now check this look at that y'all this is the sun or multiple suns or are they suns what are these look at that y'all perfect spheres three perfect spheres actually there's another one check this out y'all look at that Y'all see, see, and you can clearly see there's another one right there, right? This is the convergence of the nine realms, the convergence of the spheres, right? Y'all see this? Hmm? You see how things are getting a lot more interesting as I don't, pff, this matrix crumbles more and more and time is moving on so much more faster now, you guys. It's ridiculous. I can't even keep up. Why do calendars exist for real? But yeah, it looks like there's multiple worlds up there, you guys. That's what it looks like to me. It looks like there's multiple worlds up there. So let me know what you guys think about this video. This video is strictly for entertainment purposes only. I am only raising awareness to interesting situations during these interesting times. Like, comment, and share for more videos like this. Thank you for tuning to my frequency. Let's get this shift, y'all. Peace in. Four suns. Never seen nothing like that. Two the most. Four consecutively. Joe Rogan, Cat Williams interview. Knowledge can be a dangerous thing, especially when most of the people are still asleep. There is about 15% of the population that really understand what's going on, and 85% of the people don't give a shit about what's going on. So I watched this interview. I heard about the Baphomet, the Circle, the Emerald Thoth tablets. I just want to say this. There are certain tablets, Emerald Green tablets, that's out there in the public. But most of the tablets are actually hidden away. The Vatican has most of the Emerald Green tablets. What they are doing in 2024 is going to be something epic because 2024 represents the serpent, the doll eating his own tail. We are in the year of karma. All truth that was hidden for thousands of years is about to be known to the public. But the thing is, once you get this information, what are you going to do with it? See, I understand what they're doing. I've been doing this since 2010. So I know about the UFOs, Area 51, the conspiracy theories. That I know about mostly all of this stuff. What they're doing is they are trying to get the public ready for a UFO or an alien invasion. That's why Cat Williams was speaking about alien invasions. And Joe Rogan know all about alien invasions and cons conspiracy theories. They want you to think that it's a conspiracy theory. It's not conspiracy or theories. It's actually the truth. But a lot of people cannot handle this. 
Like I said before, the public is walking around not giving a fuck about nothing. All they want to know is where is their next entertainment going to come from? The new, the new iPhone, the new uh, NPC, the, the new challenge. They don't care about we are being controlled by different aliens or, or we are slaves on this planet. They don't care about this kind of stuff. So what they're doing is they're slowly terraforming people's minds to get them ready for the UFO invasion. There will be a UFO invasion in 2024, but you got to ask yourself, are these going to be good aliens or are they going to be bad aliens? You got to get back out there in nature. You got to start meditating. You got to do shadow work. You got to start grounding because a lot of information will actually destroy your mind. There is a big difference between information, knowledge, and wisdom. We want information. Information comes from the matrix to destroy your mindset. Wisdom, wisdom come from this earth. So they are getting everyone ready, slowly getting people ready for this UFO invasion in 2024. Will you be strong enough to handle it? Shout outs to organic like us. Yeah, you already know. You seen him in the last video. Not y'all asked who he was. It's organic like us. There you go. He already talking about the Joe Rogan, Cat Williams interview. Them emerald tablets. And I agree. I feel like a lot of them are locked away, like in the Vatican somewhere. Right? What y'all think? Let me know in the comments down below. There are that <clears throat> that's why I can speak with impunity about the Illuminati, because I know who you would have to be in order for what I'm saying to bother you, number one. Right. Number two, I know your big secret. I know that you're not the Illuminati. I am. So <laughs> <clears throat> you can't be illuminated. You're too dark. If you watch the Cat Williams episode, then you know that the emerald tablets of Thoth were mentioned. And I just want to give you guys this resource that I have known about for years. It is on my page, and it's how I already know about these things. Please note, I am not affiliated with this map at all. I just found it and I found it a very useful resource. Use your own discernment. You really shouldn't need anybody telling you what is or isn't real. Look through these things and find what has helped you. But I personally have benefited a lot. And I do think that this bottom right section will really lead you to a lot of good things. Law of attraction, the, the delics there. I can't, you know, a lot of things are going to be on here so i can't talk about too much you know gotta talk a little cody but yeah a lot of great knowledge up here essentially what i want everybody to take away is just learn to love and be kind to one another and stop allowing like rage bait and the all of these things to allow you to be in a state where you're just not feeling good we all deserve to feel love joy and spread that so please just try to tap into that frequency um a lot but Anyways, a lot of great knowledge on here. You know, don't, you know, take what resonates, leave the rest, and don't hate me for sharing it because a lot of people are mad because of like that stuff and whatever. It was like, you know, once you know, you know, and you look into these things and, you know, you can make your own conclusions. Once you know, you know. Shout out to Ashley Smith. Go check her out. You know, see that map she was talking about. But yeah, man, Emerald Tablets, it's becoming a hot topic. Bro, now I seen some, you know, processions in the street. I feel like a lot of them were big, like with Biggie Smalls back in 97, all of Brooklyn. Bro, that right there, yo, that gave me chills. It just shows you how much that man meant to his people. You feel me? Yo, rest in peace. Prayers are with you and all my condolences.
So yeah, as you see, they chanting now, Vani. You know? Wow, bro. I amplified that with what we saw earlier. In the chilling Moscow cold, a final farewell to Alexei Navalny echoed through the city. His funeral, a defiant congregation of thousands, was underscored by the resonant strains of Frank Sinatra's My Way. Navalny, a stalwart critic of Putin's regime, met his untimely end in an Arctic penal colony, leaving a nation in shock and the world in disbelief. With the mournful notes of My Way hanging in the air, the mourners chanted. Their voices rose against the biting wind, a sonorous chorus of Navalny, Navalny, a protest against Putin's Russia, a promise of a free Russia. It was a scene straight out of Navalny's favorite movie, Terminator 2 an unyielding resistance against an unstoppable force. At the heart of this grieving throng stood Yulia Navalnaya, Navalny's widow. Her voice, steadfast and resolute, carried a message, not just for the mourners, but for the world. You are not dealing with a politician, but with a bloody mobster, she said, a chilling reminder of the man against whom Navalny had rallied. As Sinatra's My Way faded into the icy silence, one thing was clear. Navalny might be gone, but his spirit, his fight, his way lives on. А вас за что вы что скандировали? Forty-seven-year-old's body now headed to a nearby cemetery where Navalny will be laid to rest. There is now a, an image of Alexei Navalny uh, in a uh an open coffin uh, inside the church. His parents among those uh, gathered around him. The US ambassador is there too uh, with other uh, diplomats. The Russian authorities harassing supporters right to the end uh, this morning, releasing the, the body later than promised. <laughs> You can hear that, mourners chanting, Navalny, Navalny. Here's the live look that we do have at Moscow, in Moscow, where the funeral of Putin critic Alexei Navalny now underway. That's the cemetery where he is going to be buried. Um, good morning to you. It's always wonderful to have you with us. Uh, we can show you this photo, too, of Navalny's coffin being carried into the church of the icon of the Mother of God in Moscow. Hundreds of mourners are gathered outside, along with a large police presence, when asked if the Kremlin had anything to say to Navalny's family as they mourn him today, Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov told CNN, quote, no, we have nothing to say. CNN's chief international correspondent Clarissa Ward uh, is with us now. Uh, Clarissa, uh, what does it say to you that we're unable to see uh, this funeral? We were expecting uh, to be able to watch a live stream provided by Navalny's team. Well, it says to me that the Kremlin is not taking any chances. They know that there is a, a huge scope for today to turn into something big because there are so many hundreds of people, so many brave mourners who have taken the risk to show their grief and their support for Alexei Navalny. There are a huge amount of riot police outside that church. There is also uh, signal jamming uh, reportedly going on. Our own colleague Matthew Chance has not been able to get up live. Uh, Navalny's team, who had been putting out a live signal on YouTube, have not been able to continue that. And you can hear the chants of the crowd, Casey. The crowd saying, Navalny, Navalny. They're saying, we are not afraid and you are not afraid. That's a, a play on a slogan that Navalny himself used to say, Dmitry Peskov, warning people about any, quote, unauthorized memorials. Dang, you know it's serious when they start signal jamming. It sounds a lot like Metal Gear Solid. 
хороший комментарий оставили, я не помню, под стримом то ли Дмитрия Быкова, то ли Шендеровича Виктора. Кто-то написал, что этот человек пожертвовал собой ради спасения страны, а другой жертвует страну ради спасения самого себя. Ну, здесь мы согласны с заветом, оставленным Алексеем Навальным. Его имя войдет в историю. Было страшно сегодня сюда приходить? Нет, уже не страшно. Уже просто вот такая боль, такой гнев, и невозможно уже сидеть, бояться, чего дальше. Что будет очередным. Поэтому нужно собраться все вместе и сделать все правильно. Очень страшно. Но, знаете, мы пенсионеры, нам особо терять уже нечего. Но только что пенсию отберут, пусть подаются. А так молодежи больше страшно. Да? В нашем возрасте. Что для вас значило, Алексей? Ну, ну, наверное, это наш современный сахар. Не побоялся на голову в свою пенсию. The young ones fear more. Yeah, please, yeah, 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 yeah. It's my birthday on the and, last and one. Yeah. Uh, listen, girl, listen. Well, it's possible like, for a candidate. We call you, yeah. For a But my thing, y'all got, y'all have photos all the day. Yeah. At a certain point, we human beings. She in Paris. Mm -hmm. We want to chill. Yeah. Y'all, can y'all give us a second to chill or not? Yeah. yeah. I should just go back up in the room. Uh, I'm in fact, no. I can just leave. No, 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 yeah, no, no, we don't, no, we, no, we are okay. not, we are not, I just, uh, we have a question. Excuse me, yeah, yeah, that's a question. I see. She's gonna leave Paris, period. Why? I want to bring my wife to get some crazy. I'm never asking no one. Yeah, but I stop. I stop. Can you? Okay, you can. You. Okay, I stop. Yeah, I stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah please. One thing not to go to the restaurant, but he threatens to leave the city. I feel him on that. Sometimes people just want to chip. I understand my predecessor's legal pass today. So here's what I would say to Mr. Trump. Instead of playing politics with the issue, instead of telling members of Congress to block this legislation, join me. Or I'll join you in telling the Congress to pass this bipartisan border security bill. We can do it together. You know and I know it's the toughest, most efficient, most effective border security bill this country has ever seen. So instead of playing politics with the issue, why don't we just get together and get it done? Let's remember who the heck we work for. We work for the American people, not the Democratic Party, the Republican Party. We work for the American people. And let's remember who we are. We're the United States of America. And no, I mean, just think about this. There's nothing, nothing beyond our capacity, nothing, when we work together. And if all things we should be working together on is this, we have the formula to get it done. Oh, I haven't heard that much fire in Joe's voice in a long time. I feel him, though, sometimes. Gotta work with your enemies. For the greater of the good. Let's get things done. I feel him on that. And that's a wrap. I hope you enjoyed tonight's rabbit hole. If you haven't already, please take a second just to smash that like, subscribe, ring that notification bell, just to make sure the algorithm knows what's up. So what are we gonna do, y'all? That's right. Run these numbers up.
Thanks again. Until next time.